Kim Jong-un's regime may be planning to make a move against an American accused of leading a stunning raid on a North Korean embassy. Brian Todd has been working his sources for us. Brian, what are you learning? Well, if we have new information tonight from an attorney for that American man involved in the embassy raid in Spain and from court documents, they confirm the North Koreans have put a target on this man's back. And even if they're in the U.S., Spain, or elsewhere, neither he nor one of his cohorts are safe from the long arm of Kim Jong-un's intelligence service. Tonight, new indications that North Korea's violent young dictator could be targeting some of his highest profile adversaries, who are Americans, for assassination. They're members of a group called the Provisional Government of Free Jozan, whose goal is to overthrow Kim Jong-un's regime. One of their members, former U.S. Marine Christopher Ahn, has just been granted bail by a judge in L.A. and should be under house detention within days. Ahn and other members of Free Jozan are accused of leading a brazen, broad daylight raid on North Korea's embassy in Madrid in February, making away with thumb drives, hard drives, computers, and cell phones. Ahn was arrested in L.A. in April, and Spain wants the U.S. to extradite him there. Ahn's lawyer tells CNN she's fighting that. There are people on the ground who are uh, connected to the North Korean government. They can reach out to people uh, in Spain if they want to um, commit a crime or, or harm somebody. The judge in Ahn's case backs her up, writing in a court order, the FBI has confirmed that the North Korean government has threatened his life. He is apparently the target of a dictatorship's efforts to murder him. Ahn's lawyer says she fears he'd be in danger even if he's incarcerated in Spain. Danger from North Korean agents and their criminal contacts. The officials there are probably in touch with people in the underworld in Spain, people who would have no problem finding their way into a Spanish jail if Mr. Ahn were to be detained there. Ahn's lawyer is concerned that North Korean agents could even get to him while he's in the U.S. One former spy says North Korea could well have a network of operatives in the L.A. area and they wouldn't blink at targeting on there. They wouldn't hesitate of killing somebody in the United States. They're just not, they're not going to. They're, it's a vicious regime, as we know. Christopher Ahn is not the only leader of Free Jozan who's apparently in danger tonight. American Adrian Hong, accused by Spain of being the mastermind of the embassy raid, is in hiding, on the run from U.S. Marshals and, his lawyer says, North Korean agents. We know from credible sources uh, that the North Korean government um, has, is seeking Adrian Hong uh, and some of his associates from the provisional government of Free Josan uh, and is seeking to target them for assassination. Police! U.S. authorities raided Hong's apartment in April, but he wasn't there. The lawyers for Hong and An deny Spain's accusations that they beat and tied up North Korean officials during the embassy raid in February. Still, analysts say Kim Jong-un must be enraged over that incident. To have someone enter the, the North Korean embassy, take control of it for some time, uh, would really be seen as quite an insult, quite a criticism of, of North Korea. So Kim would take that personally. It would be seen as, as a personal affront of the regime. So he would want to lash out. Tonight, the attorneys for Christopher Ahn and Adrian Hong are also critical of the Justice Department, saying that it's dismaying that the department has executed warrants against Americans based on the accounts of North Korean officials in Spain. Those attorneys tell CNN they are worried that Ahn and Hong, if he's ever caught, could eventually be extradited actually to North Korea if they're not harmed first. Justice officials tell CNN anyone extradited to Spain is going to get due process under Spanish law, and they've indicated they are not likely to help facilitate any extraditions to North Korea. Wolf? All right, Brian.